Hi, I'm Dave from ClearPath Robotics, and now that you have your Husky unboxed, we're going to go through how to get it set up uh, for you to start doing your research. So inside the Husky, we have your main computer, um, which is running ROS and where you'll actually be doing all of your research uh, or all your development for your research. Inside here, we also have your cable that allows your computer to talk to your MCU. We have uh, power breakouts uh, for you to actually power your different peripherals. In the back here, we have your battery and your MCU. And in your MCU, we have your fuses for uh, your different power supplies. Now plug in your battery and turn your robot on. So to get your robot set up for your facility, first thing you're probably going to want to do is get it on Wi-Fi. You don't need wireless to be able to work with your robot, uh, but it's more convenient when your robot's actually driving around. So on the back of your computer, there'll be two Ethernet ports. You can plug into either one. Uh, they're bridged together, so it doesn't really matter. Take an Ethernet cord and plug it into our computer. So first thing we have to do is set up our computer to be in the same subnet as your robot. So in my case, I'm using uh, Ubuntu 16.04, uh, but this step you could do with pretty much any operating system. So I'm gonna come up here to my network, go down to Edit Connections, I'm gonna add a new connection. It's an ethernet connection, give it a name. So robot connection, it doesn't really matter. Under IPv4, change it to manual. And under add, uh, we're going to type 192.168.131.51. Uh, um, in this case, our robot is kinetic. So all of our robots starting in kinetic are in the 131 range. So they'll all be 131.1. Um, if your robot is indigo, it will be 1.1. So depending which version of ROS you're using uh, or which version of ROS is set up on your robot will determine which subnet you have to use for connecting to it. So 131.51, the last number doesn't really matter as long as it's not one or the same number as any of the peripherals on your robot. So we'll hit save. And if I connect to it, I select robot connection. Now you can do a quick check to make sure this works. So open a terminal and just ping 192.168.131.1, which is the robot, and you should be getting responses. So connect. So to connect to your robot, do ssh administrator at 192.168.131.1. Uh, it might give you a prompt here saying uh, that you need to accept the key of the Husky. Uh, just hit yes, and that uh, makes sure that your robot knows exactly which uh, computer is talking to. So the username is administrator and the password is ClearPath. And you should be able to log in. You can, you should but at this point already know if it's Indigo or Kinetic, but you can do a quick check and just do echo dollar ROS distro and it should tell you what version it is. That'll be kind of important a little bit later on. So the first thing we're gonna do is connect it to your Wi-Fi. So under here, type wicked-curses, and it will bring up the wireless manager. Under here, scroll down to whichever wireless is yours, hit right on the keyboard, and now you can set it up. So down here, hit space under this so that, you, um, that your robot will register its host name with your network. Down here, uh, you can enable this if you have multiple access points for your network automatically connect, use encryption. Under here, pick which encryption you're using, and then enter your password. So secret password is the password of our network. So, uh, so shift S to save that. Now, if you're on um, kinetic, well, for indigo or kinetic, you have to make a quick change. So if you go shift P, you can go over and uh, set up your preferences. 
So under general settings, you want to remove the wired interface from here. Um, that's just to avoid any sort of conflicts with networking. Uh, under wireless, this should already be set fine, so you shouldn't need to change it. And over under external programs, if you have Kinetic, go down and select DHCP CD. Just hit space on that. It should already be installed. And then shift S to get out of that. Now that you've set up your wireless, you can go to your robot wireless and just hit shift C to connect to it. You should see down at the bottom, it's connecting, it's turning on your interface, obtaining IP address, and there you go. So now that it's connected, it'll tell you which IP address it happened to get. Um, and you'll also see up here that uh, that wireless network that you're using is highlighted in green, so you're connected. So shift Q to quit, and you can type exit to get out of the terminal. Now that your robot is set up on your Wi-Fi, you'll, uh, you can disconnect your ethernet cable. You don't need that anymore. So my computer's already on the same network as the robot. So you wanna do a really quick check uh, and to make sure that everything's talking properly. If you happen to notice when you were logged into the robot, it would have said administrator at and then robot name, which in the case of a Husky will be CPR-A200 serial number. So ours, there's a tag on the side that'll say what the serial number of your robot is and ours is 0506. So we can do ping CPR-A200-0506 and you should see the IP address that it was using, uh, which would have shown up in Wicked Curses earlier. And you'll also see that you're getting responses from the robot, so that's good. So to be able to start using ROS with all of this, you'll have to have ROS installed on your system. In our case, our robot is using Kinetic, so you have to make sure that you're installing Kinetic on your computer. The best way to do that is Ubuntu 16.04 uh, and to install ROS. So there's a bunch of online tutorials for that. Um, but just to make sure, sudo apt-get install ROS kinetic desktop. And in my case, it's already installed on my computer. Now to work specifically with your Husky, you want to be, you want to add the ClearPath uh, ROS sources, which you can get, uh, there's instructions on how to do that from packages.clearpathrobotics.com. Um, once, so once you have all your packages set up, you should be able to do sudo apt get install ROS kinetic husky desktop. Uh, and this should be able to, or this will install all the tools to be able to work directly with your robot. So once you have your desktop packages installed for your husky, um, you can check that ROS is working properly. So you can do export ROS master URI, uh, and this environment variable tells your robot where the ROS master or the ROS core is running uh, so that any sort of ROS things you do are communicated to the robot. So uh, export ROS master URI, HTTP colon slash slash, CPR A200-0506 colon 11311, which is port 11311 is a standard ROS port that it's using. Once you do that, you can do ROS topic list and see all the topics that are actually running on the robot. If you see this, everything is good. So ROS topic echo husky velocity controller ODOM. You should see information coming out of this. Uh, that means that your networking is working properly, your DNS server is working properly, uh, the Wi-Fi is the Husky computer is connected to the MCU. It means everything is working as it should. So now if you want to visualize this, uh, a helpful tool uh, for checking that everything's working properly on your robot, if you do ROS run RQT robot monitor, it should pop up a window with all the diagnostics that are happening on the robot. In our case, um, apparently I broke the motor the other day. Um, so it's saying the motor drivers are too hot, but you can see everything else is all working properly. Um, so here you could do a really quick, just kind of overview check 
of everything that's working in your system or any sort of nodes you have. You can also do ROS launch husky viz view robot, view robot.launch. So this will launch rviz, which is the um, visualization for all different tools and uh, different message types that are happening inside of ROS. So you can see we have our robot here, we have odometry. Uh, if you're running navigation, this is where you'd be getting information on that and using it. Um, or any other sensors or applications that you have running on your robot, you can visualize all of it here. So all of your payloads can be powered directly from, we have five, 12 and 24 volt breakout power inside the Husky here. Um, if for some reason you draw too much power, your Husky is protected by a set of fuses that are back here in the MCU. So each fuse has a little LED above it that if that LED is out, that fuse is broken. You can also pull the fuse out and just check. These are standard automotive fuses. Uh, and for a Husky, they're all fused at five amps. If for some reason a, you do blow a fuse, you can just get a standard automotive fuse and put it in. Uh, there should also be some fuses that are included with your robot as well. Uh, do not put bigger fuses in here than what is included, uh, than what is standard. You can cause serious damage to your robot um, if you put in fuses that are bigger just because you're trying to power too much. Once you're all done, once you're done your research for the day, it's generally a good practice to turn off your robot and charge your battery so that it's ready for the next day. So you can turn it off with your power button, uh, pull out the battery cable here. We have our battery charger that will come with your robot. So take this, plug it in, and then you can take your cable, red to red, black to black. You'll see on your charger, the light will go red when it's charging. Once that light turns green, then your battery is charged and ready for more work the next day. Thanks for watching our video today. If you're looking for more advanced topics to try with your Husky, you can visit support.clearpathrobotics.com where there's a bunch of different tutorials of things you can try.